Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivat Ankamani, an integration technical architect. Today we are going to see uh, how to integrate Spring uh, into Mule 4. And uh, uh, this is achieved by adding Spring module and uh, doing some steps uh, in, an, in a sequence manner. So um, as a first step, we are going to see how to add the Spring module into AnyPoint Studio. And uh, we are going to see how uh, the Spring XML uh, can be configured and it can be included, which contains the Spring Bean uh, definitions. And third, uh, we are going to see how to um, add those uh, uh, Spring configuration and uh, the classes that we are going to write into the Mule 4 configuration. And finally, we are going to invoke uh, the defined beans uh, in Mule 4 and we are going to include them into the transformation. Let's get started. First, let's see how to include the Spring module uh, into the project. So here we can uh, simply search Spring and you have an authorization filter, just uh, drag and drop. So once you drag and drop, uh, you can see here uh, there are some changes uh, done in the POM file. Which I'm going to show here. So as you can see here, uh, the Mule 4 uh, has automatically included behind the scene the shared libraries, which include uh, uh, Spring Context, uh, Spring Security, Spring Core, and Spring Beans related library. And uh, you can see here uh, the dependent uh, uh, Spring jars are um, added here, which uh, which brings Mule Spring module along. So you are uh, ready to use the Spring in your project now. So why uh, a Mule has done this way? So you don't need to worry about uh, uh, various versions of the jar and what are the types of jar that you need to include. So those are the big headache, which is simplified by adding uh, a Spring module so that internally uh, Mule takes care of different uh, versions. Uh, to be included automatically. So I removed it uh, in order to show alternate way of adding this uh, spring module. So here you can see add modules, click here and then uh, come down to uh, search for spring and drag and drop here and uh, you will see uh, spring here. And similarly, you can add uh, other modules like uh, we have seen in the previous video on how to add a API kit for SOAP. You can click and drag and drop here. So automatically it asks for a version you can add here. So by this way, <coughs> you can see here these modules are added here. Now we have added Spring and API kit for SOAP. So this is added here and you can see here Spring and API kit. So these are the uh, simple ways to add a Spring module. Now as a second step, we are going to see how to add a, a Spring Bean XML uh, into the Mule 4 project. So uh, you can see here, uh, there is a, a beans.xml file which I have created for demonstration purpose. And I have defined the bean uh, here, which we are going to see a little bit later. And uh, the scope of this video is to explain how a Spring can be integrated into Mule. And we are not going to dwell into uh, what uh, what is a Spring framework and uh, how Spring framework works. So uh, we don't have time for that in this video. Maybe I will add different video on uh, going through the basics of Spring. Please look out for that video later. So uh, this is a simple bean definition. Uh, uh, which uh, instantiates uh, employee class and creates an object called the Shiva. And uh, I have a, a constructor uh, a function in the class which accepts two uh, parameters. One is a string and another one is integer. So this is a Spring Beans uh, XML. So um, let us go here uh, and see the spring.xml. And uh, in this XML, we have a spring configuration added. It's a very simple, uh, you can just copy paste from uh, Mule website. So it's a spring config and you need to give the name of the spring configuration, which you can give anything. 
and uh, you need to give uh, files to be included which you can define as a beans.xml. So this is a mandatory step. So if you want to, you don't need to memorize all this and you can simply go to uh, uh, a Spring uh, Mule website where you can have uh, uh, details to add Spring module and there are different ways uh, which is explained here which you can follow easily and uh, uh, there is a sample file given here to add this spring configuration which you can uh, just copy paste into your uh, mule project so uh, so that's pretty simple as a third step uh, we are going to see how to uh, include those files uh, into the project uh, by means of mule artifact.json file so uh, this is a mule artifact structure where you need to include a class loader model loader descriptor and uh, you need can, you need to give uh, id and then you need to add two important attributes number one exported resources and uh, number two exported packages which are relevant for our uh, spring spring integration so the exported resources contains uh, uh, external files that need to be added uh, into the class path uh, from the resource folder so uh, during the uh, packaging process uh, these are considered and included into the class path uh, folder so you need to mention the name of the files uh, uh, separated by comma here we just have one file which we need to mention it as beans.xml and uh, uh, don't forget to include them under resources folder so uh, then the next one is exported packages which you want to include uh, uh, in your project so i have uh, the classes uh, a class available in the com.siva project which i have mentioned here so this is very simple step maybe i can give this uh, mule artifact.json in the description below which you can download and you can add it in your project uh, so that's a pretty simple step uh, uh, to include those because these are mandatory and without which you will run into a lot of issues so now we are going to see the final step of how we can define the bean and include them into the mule 4 project so i have created a simple flow with uh, http listener and uh, i have a, a simple uh, component called invoke which invokes uh, our uh, uh, java bean which is created by using spring beans so how do we do that so i have uh, uh, first let's go through the uh, uh, spring definition under beans.xml so uh, let me open the class so this is a class which i have written it's very simple which contains name and age fields and uh, getter setter methods for those fields and finally i included uh, just for demonstration purpose i included one uh, additional method called get details which uh, takes the details and then uh, gives out for example here uh, it constructs the details with the name and age and then gives out uh, in terms of a string uh, type so how do we define this in spring so as you have, uh, those who are familiar with the spring uh, knows very um, easily it's a very uh, easy way you need to define it via bean tag and you need to give two uh, data which is which are critical one is name of the object and another one is the uh, name of the class which i have mentioned here and uh, uh, since it's done via uh, dependency injection you need to uh, define those data uh, and not by using a new method so uh, here I, we have given constructor argument uh, in sequence so with these details uh, a spring which is integrated into mule will be able to create an object called a siva so once uh, we have uh, defined it uh, we might need to know uh, how to include them into your uh, uh, mule 4 uh, flow so let's come back here so this is the flow which is created for a demo purpose so let's see the content of invoke so uh, you can you can find the invoke uh, object here under java you can drag and drop and uh, you can give the instance name which we have created here under beans.xml the name of the instance which we created and uh, so uh, this is very important you need to give exactly the instance that's available 
and uh, the type of uh, the class is uh, given here com.cbar.employee which we have created here that the same name fully qualified uh, class name you need to specify and the method you need to mention it's a get details is the method which we want to invoke which is taken from uh, here get details so which uh, which uh, gives out uh, spring data type which comes as a payload one, once we invoke this class so that's what uh, we have done here uh, so there is nothing else the, the, these are the simple details uh, uh, under invoke component I'm just logging and uh, we are just uh, including this payload into the appropriate JSON data so I have added a, a tag called uh, details and uh, whatever comes out as a payload we are uh, uh, including them uh, in string type and uh, that's it so <clears throat> there is a simple HTTP uh, listener which invokes uh, uh, and we can see the data uh, comes out as a string so what is the expected data here since we have uh, um, uh, supplied uh, via constructor some name and age which we can see here so I am passing Siva Thamkamani as a name and uh, age as a 12 so these two uh, are expected to come out uh, as a data and uh, let's run this so I have already uh, started the flow and the project is up and running now so let's uh, go here well, I have already tested it let me refresh the screen and you can see the JSON output with the details uh, uh, and the date the details contains the data which we have passed via uh, constructor arguments so that's it in this video and uh, I am planning to prepare another video uh, indicating the importance of integrating uh, Spring module into Mule 4 because you can achieve these functionalities even without integrating Spring module directly uh, by, you, by Mule 4 methods uh, you can use those classes etc. But there is a definite reason and advantage of why uh, uh, we need to use Spring module and achieving the same via Spring because uh, there are some definite uh, uh, reason, efficiency and advantages of using Spring module rather than doing it manually by using Mule 4, which I will explain it in the next video. Please look out for those video. And uh, uh, please uh, like my video and subscribe my channel and uh, that will encourage me to do more useful topics. So that's it in this video and thanks for watching and uh, see you in at another video. Bye.